everyone, we're playing slide two. Let's go ahead and continue. I think we're... I think we're near the end of this level. I think we have to be, right? I don't know. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. So take care of them. I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs <coughs> right. out. Just gotta do some stealing. <laughs> and um, guards, once again, sneak up I am still sick. So, um, my voice sounds a bit funny. I am still sick. I'm still recording. It's still the same day as all those other videos. So let's go ahead and uh, join. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no. <laughs> no, I did not want to do that. But it's okay. I think we got it. Key. Let's go ahead and bop. Slam them. Okay, where are these other buddy boys at? There's one. There's one over here somewhere. There's one right there. Probably grab this dude's stuff. I don't miss at least. Get one more. Zoink! Give me a key. Check one, check two. Sorry. Dimitri on the mic with a me? shout out to all my nightclub samurai. Stand tall and feel beautiful. I hear there's some raccoon dude giving a static. If you all spot this cracker box, bam! Make him unhappy. Take no prisoners. Go hardcore. Extreme all over his face. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I still got the key though. Sucks for you. Yeah, he's gonna flash me. Right <clears throat> I don't think there's any buddy boys around. We good? We'll be running. Who's sleeping? I think he's over here, right? One more. Zoink! Give me that key. Let's head up over to this guy. Hopefully it doesn't turn around. Not be too good. I, like I only had two things of coins. Whoopsies. That was close. Alright. One more key. Where? Oh, hello? Turn over here. Oh. Wait, before I do that, can I hit this button? Oh, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay, he's up here. Okay, there you are, bud. I, just walk on this. I was like, I don't even know how in the world I was supposed to find them, but all right, there's the key. You're about nice to get slammed, you. homeboy. Now head for the control panel to slow down the sail. All right, control panel. Is he talking about whatever this thing is, or is it the outside one? I sure it's the outside one. But now, the nice part about exiting the mission is I figured out where I have to put these stupid keys. So, I say that, and then I... Okay, I have to go up. Oh, yes, there they are. I'm like... I swear I just saw it. What in the world? Okay, yes, I have to go put it in this thing. Boink. Why doesn't he do it like side one where you just like chuck some at the locks? I would have preferred it that way. <laughs> Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Let's do it. Also, why was there six locks just for the fans? That doesn't seem like a very... <clears throat> well, I say not a very logical thing to do and then I fall off a super, super easy ledge so I can't... I guess say much, but okay. I'm overriding the spotlight security guy. 
That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. <coughs> Sick. Okay. Is there anything else we actually have to do in here? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and make our way out. And I think, are we going to get another one of those little briefing things? Because I don't think there's anything left to do. Is there things I have to do? There is. Okay, Moonlight Rendezvous. Alright, well, that's where we're going. Set up here. Oh, I remember this mission. Hold it, Koopa. Yep. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. <clears throat> Alright, we chase him. Free money? Say less. Hey, bro. Neela, I'm literally faster than you, bro. You gotta run faster. <clears throat> Alright. Where are you going, though? I th this is like almost reminds me of like the mission in the original like, PS2 Spider Man, where you have to chase Catwoman around the city. Kind of reminds me of that. I wonder if there was any inspiration taken from that. Or was that an inspiration? I no way that is an inspiration from this game, but I mean I guess that's also a pretty common PS2 trope. All these games is like a following mission. Also, there you did not have to break that infrastructure, Neela. Come on, bro. All of a sudden now someone doesn't have cable TV because of you. How do you feel about yourself? Some guy just kinda watched the office or something and is just gone. Oh, why is she destroying absolutely everything? Dude, chill. I thought I was supposed to be following you. We're not, I, I didn't know we were just like, just commit vandalism and destroy people's property. I, I didn't sign up for this, Neela. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely not a very hard game. She's not particularly doing anything crazy here. She's breaking the fountain. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, <laughs> we are absolutely going to work well together. Okay, we need Bentley. Alright, let's go ahead and grab good old Bentley. Go ahead and we do have a trigger mine, I think, right? So I think his ability is just bombs, right? And then he also does have his bow. But if I do this, I can actually throw a bomb blow it up. Okay. So that's actually a really, really cool bomb because I can... Oh, and Bentley can do some sneaking too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because this... so Because Sly can't really attack from super far away, but this is actually, like, pretty cool. Now, I'm terrible and missed, but if I do that, I just go... Oh. oh, he walked back into it. <laughs> Alright. That was kind of dumb on his part, but fair enough. Alright. Taps are kind of sick. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Sorry about the coffin. <clears throat> okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Yep. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb. Boink. And then get out of the way before it explodes. Whoop. And this guy, I can sure just Good throw job. a bomb at him. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. 
press the R3 button. You know, click the right analog oh, stick I have this to bring too. up your Banaki comp. And then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. He's out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. That's kind of cool. I totally forgot about this thing. Bentley's definitely good. I like Bentley's abilities are so much fun. Okay, we're in hey, Bentley, here. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball, and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. That's facts. Now, can I should have just bombed these from far away? Okay, never mind. Apparently, there we go. So can I just bomb that from far away? Okay, six. So I can't just like. Kobe it all the way over there, which could make a lot of these a little easier. See, look, even this guy put this guy to sleep. There's a bomb on him. There's a bomb on him here. Alright, you need to go to sleep. Sleep. What? He didn't go to sleep. Oh, that's not good. There we go. You sleeping later. Kill that bomb up there. Okay. Um, let's mosey on our way to the other one. I can't do the rail climb, so I just have to do the dash. Where is that next pillar? Is this a pillar here or am I tripping? Let's just throw a bomb at it to see. That is not one of them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's over here. Okay. Is that close enough? Okay. One more. Oh, we were like next to it and we just missed it like a dummy. Alright. Alright, we'll just go ahead and place that one. Let's make that one easy. Alright, let's go ball goes boom. Also, that's a really sucky dance sort considering you try to dance and you die. Like, what's even the point of it? Wow, Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. All right. Good job, Bentley. Again, coolest abilities. Absolutely coolest. But God, they're, hard to, they're a little hard to use, but they're definitely really cool. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up, then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock side. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. All right. I don't particularly see why we can't just run into the room and just grab them. It doesn't seem like they're very highly guarded, but hey, who am I to say, right? Where's the mission? Okay, so we got Bentley first. Let's go ahead, let's go back in. And grab our boy Bentley. Okay, so that, you gotta go to sleep. There you go. You gotta go to sleep too. There we go. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. 
Let's do it. We dashing. We're doing the dash. We're doing it. A little penguin. Penguin walk. Oop, there's rats. You guys are gonna die. Be a bomb. Skirt. Bop. There you go. There you go. Oh, thanks, Murray. Oh, my bad, Murray. Jump into my arms. I'll toss you up there. Alright. Bro, I'm in your arms, bro. Grab me. Oh, I gotta press zero. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Right, you gotta go up. Start. Really? That straight up didn't. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? Woo! <laughs> Is that what I gotta do? Place a bomb? Okay, here we go. Kobe number two. Skirt. Lit. I'm inside. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? Mm. To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Okay. So... I still have no idea where I'm supposed to get the water to go. Oh, there's one more over here, ain't there? Yep, there we go. That should be it. Success! Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Pickpocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, what am I supposed to do with these other boys? How am I supposed to take them out quietly? Well, they got stuff on them, so I'm gonna steal that first for show, for show. Gimme, gimme. What you got? Silver. Ah, uh, that's not bronze. Cheapskate. Alright, gimme your key, bruh. You the big old pistol. Got that thing thing on him, for real. Alright, truck okay. repair key. Head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Oh, we gotta run back to the fountain? Alright. I'm dashing. Where you oh <laughs> where you all at? It's all you. Alright, Murray. Head out for the repair truck. Okay, that's that way, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, <clears throat> penguin watch. Let's do this. You know what? I'm about to put you to sleep, bruh. Later. All right. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. That's true. I drove it last. I game. need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. All right. Um, yo, what's the easiest way up there? Am I dumb? Okay, I just gotta get on top of a building. You go boing, you can go boing. Then <clears throat> you can do the crawly basically through the windows at some point. So get up here. And spire point. <clears throat> I'm in position. Will do, bud. Um, not there. All right. Sorry. <laughs> nope. What about there, huh? There we go. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the oh. truck. Oh, I gotta protect them. They love. Can I do a little? Uh -huh. Don't do it. Oh, did I hit the truck? Who else is coming? Nah, don't do that. No! He died for that one.
Anyone else? There we go. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Let's do it. Skirt. I wonder if there's going to be anyone down there. Hmm. Gah! So raccoonas do this. Right early bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you there let birds is. and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Tree. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah. We smooth. Yeah. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? <laughs> have you no vision? Are you hearing what I've been to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. Bro, I best have boss no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Ah! Oh, no. Let's dance! Let's dance indeed. Again, dude. The theme for this fight is like pristine. Uh, do this again. Third time the charm, right? Gotta get a little closer. Third ring shot should do the trick. And I can run up to him. Give him a little bop on the head. And he's gonna pull out. Whoopsie. Can't get uppercut. Where are you going, bud? Yo, where are you running? Get a little shell attack. Go for the blue other. One, two, wombo combo. He does the dash. Oh, where's he at? Almost got snapped by that one. One more. There we go. Then we can do a little... No, oh, that is the wrong move. I meant to do that, but in the other direction. Dash again. I do I shoot stupid ring thing I need one more shot? Ooh, okay, he had a fourth shot this time. Ah, okay. I don't know why I was so close to him like that. There we go. What are you doing, bud? Oh, he about to get printed. You take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. Thanks. You... <laughs> Cracker box! <laughs> Yo, my bad. I kind of need those. I don't know why I need those. But I need those. Job complete. Let's go. 9% of the game done. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well deserved break. Where are we going next? Episode 2. Where are we going? Ooh, we going to. Is that India? Right, India. Alright, anyway. See you guys next episode.